Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be building a tank that can accommodate a one meter cannon. Now that one meter cannon might be a really long barreled one meter cannon, or it might be a very, very short barreled one. So let's go ahead and start building and see what we can come up with. Alright, so that right there is a 1 meter cannon. As you guys can see, it is very wide and very tall because it's 1 meter on each side. Anyway, uh, that means that this tank actually has to be relatively big. Also, side note, the actual ammunition for this is absolutely massive as well. So, it also has to incorporate that. No idea how that's gonna go, but um, we do need to do it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? We're gonna go straight to tracks, and honestly, these guys are gonna be made a hell of a lot bigger. We're gonna go to 850. Yes, that is kind of insane, but sure. Separation is gonna come out to 2.5 meters, and this thing is gonna have to be extremely long. So we're gonna go with 9 meters long. That looks absolutely insane, but I do think it's gonna work out. Alright, so this is what our tracks now look like. I've essentially just extended these guys out and changed them all so they are all the same kind of wheel. Uh, what I want to do now is actually make these guys a little bit bigger, our return rollers, and we'll go from there. So, diameter of these guys, I never really make these guys bigger ever, but uh, we've made them bigger now, and we're also going to go and extend them out to the side too, because, um, yeah, I want to be able to sort of see them. There we go, that looks sick. Alright, so from there, what are we going to do? Well, I am going to actually extend this guy upwards just like that, so it pretty much fits the actual cannon. That would be a very good start. There we go. Let's go to the actual cannon itself if we can. So, cannon. There we go. And I guess we can just move this up to there. Yeah, maybe even a little bit further. There we go. Very nice. So, from there, what are we going to do? Well, on the sides, we are going to go ahead and extend it out to the side. And then we're going to extend it forwards, and then, I don't know, I guess we'll go from there. I'm also going to extend all of this down slightly, and probably forwards. So, let's go ahead and grab each of these, and yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm actually just going to extend it. There we go. So, grab this, and this, and we're going to extend all of this together, just like so, to the front. And then, I think I'm going to actually add even more to the bottom. So, if we grab each of these, extend it down. Let's go ahead and drop it down like so, very nice. And then we can grab this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and send them all backwards. There we go, very nice. Okay, so on this side, we're actually gonna go ahead and drop this guy down like so, and then I think I might round off the front end at least a little bit, because at the minute it's a little bit, I don't know, not right. Also, side note, I am actually gonna get rid of the cannon for now, and we'll deal with that later, but yeah, let's go ahead and go to the front of this, grab each of these guys, extend it, and, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna round it off, sort of. So, this is gonna come in like this, just a little bit. Actually, quite a lot, there we go. And do one more, extend it if we can, there we go. And make that really tiny. So, just do this, ish. There we go. And push it backwards. There we go, very nice. Yeah, I actually don't mind that, I think that's kinda cool. Okay, so now that I was thinking about it, I'm actually going to go ahead and move everything forwards except that one right there, and each of them are going to come all the way out to here. That looks a lot better than it did, so I am very happy with that. I also do actually want to extend these guys out to the side if I can, so what I'm going to do is actually lower this down to like there, which seems weird considering these guys look so weird now, but if I drop those down like that, they actually don't look too bad. And then we're just going to go ahead and extend this guy upwards, just like so. Shove it up into the sky, actually quite a lot, and send it over to the side as well. So we're going to do something along the lines of that. That looks awesome. Yeah, send these guys upwards, although that looks very weird. Yeah, that's not quite right. This guy needs to be extended up a little bit further. There we go, we're going to do that, then we're going to extend this, do that, and do this over the sides, and then we're going to just angle them in, I guess. So, this guy is going to be angled like that. There we go. That looks really weird. Alright, so at the back, let's go ahead and actually extend this a little bit. I have an idea as to what I want to do back here. If you guys seen my previous tank, the World War One-ish tank, uh, you'll know what I'm doing here. Or you might know what I'm doing here anyway. We're actually going to have the driver be at the back. And possibly even the gunner as well. This could be very, very weird. Anyway, let's go and extend these guys backwards like that. Uh, we're going to raise this one up, and this one, and this one, 
and then these ones. There we go, just do this, and that is awesome. Yeah, so far so good. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards just like this. Yeah, that looks very strange so far. Extend it out to the sides, and... Yeah, we're essentially just gonna go ahead and crunch them, so... They're gonna be like that. We're gonna extend the back end out too. And we're gonna crush that together just a little bit. And do it again. There we go. So, that's pretty strange. I know that's really, really weird. In fact, actually... Let's just go ahead and move this one a little bit. There we go. And then move it in. So if I can, grab this guy and just do this. Ah, yeah. All right, on the front, we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So extend this forwards and send it in. There we go. And that is looking pretty strange so far. What I don't mind doing, or what I wouldn't mind doing, is grabbing each of these, dropping it down slightly and actually angling it backwards. I feel like that could look kind of cool. Nope, you know what? I give up on the idea. I don't want to do it the way that I've got it right there. So, I'm actually going to go and extend this guy up all at the back. There we go, just like that. And, yeah, I'll angle the front bit backwards and not much else. There we go. So that looks a little bit strange, to be fair, but it's fine. So, let's go and extend these guys out as well. Go ahead and send them actually quite far out. Yes. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy and this guy. And we're going to do this. And then we're going to try... And send this down. I don't know how that's going to work. But yeah, let's just go ahead and just do this. And see if we can just attach it pretty much straight onto there. If possible. There we go. I mean, that looks weird. But I think it'll work. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is actually split this guy right here. And if we can, I'm going to shove an engine into there. So send this guy upwards actually quite a bit. We're going to extend it off the sides just a little bit like this. And we will angle all of it inwards. So grab this one and this one. This one and this one. And send them all in. There we go. Alright, yeah. For an engine bay, that actually doesn't look too bad. Alright, so from there, what do we want to do? Well, I think I want to split this guy, like, twice, if possible. I'm going to shoot this backwards to, like, there. I don't know how close that is to the other piece. But probably quite close. Yes, it is. And we're going to extend each of these guys upwards, just like so. And I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's really odd looking, but I kind of need it to be. Oh, and then I'm going to extend this guy forwards, just like so. And hopefully I'm going to drop it down and in, and maybe that'll look okay. So grab this guy, if possible, here we go, and this guy. Drop those backwards like that. Grab this one, send it backwards. Oh, I don't know how I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. Alright, send those guys backwards to there. Grab this one and this one and do this. Nope, hang on. This one and this one? Yep, there we go. And I'm going to leave it like that. That looks really weird. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and try and figure out some other things. I actually don't mind the idea of splitting this a few times. So we are going to go ahead and split this here, and we're going to go ahead and split it right here as well. And I would like to come up with some, like, bars, essentially, that go across here. I think that would be really sick. So let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards. And then all we have to do from there is grab the front end, or the front edge, I suppose, all the way across, and just send it backwards to there like that. We're then going to do it again, and I think it'll only have two. Alright, so let's go ahead and extend this. There we go, very nice. And we are actually going to go and shoot it backwards a little bit too, because uh, I feel like that is actually the direction we should send it. So we're going to do this until it's pretty much the same size as this one. And then, what we need to do on this one is actually drag these guys backwards a little bit. And I do actually need to grab this, and this. Oh, sorry, this one and this one. And we need to drop them down. But not only do we need to drop them down, we actually need to send them out a little bit too. So yeah, kind of weird, but I think that works out. Alright, so from there, what are we doing? Well, I actually kind of want to extend these guys upwards. Go ahead and send them inwards a little bit like this. And then, we're going to go ahead and extend each of these guys like this. Here we go. And I'm also going to go ahead and build these up across the sides as well. And I guess I'll actually have to shoot them into each other just like that. There we go. So those guys are attached together. These guys are going to be attached together too. And honestly, I think that looks really, really cool. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab each of these. Here we go. And I will actually extend this out just like so. And then we're just going to go ahead and extend this guy up across the front. Just like this. Go ahead and bring them up to there. And that's it. Alright, cool. We got a bit of an engine deck there now, and I'm happy about it. 
So yeah, essentially this is what we've got. I actually really do like the way that it is looking. I feel like it's a bit strange that the cannon's going to be mounted on the front, but that's what we've got. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more decorations to this, and then we'll go ahead and start adding the actual working bits. Okay, so this is where we stand. I've added a few, like, ribs, I guess, to this thing, and I was gonna add more down the sides and stuff like that, but it appears we've actually messed up, and I can't actually select some of this side, which is super annoying, and I don't know how that's happened, but, um, I guess we've got some, some areas where things are overlapping a little bit. But that's okay. So, what we're gonna do now is actually add a few details to this. We're gonna add a driver's view. Obviously, we're gonna need that up here. So let's go ahead and make that relatively large and shove it there. I do want this to actually be extended so it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. And I think I actually want to put like a panel behind it. So essentially one of these guys is going to go up there behind it. If we can fit it in. So let's go ahead and just make this really big. There we go. Shove it onto there. I guess then we can actually make this a little bit smaller. Because then it doesn't look so weird. And we can leave it like that. Honestly, doesn't look too bad. Sure. So... I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of details, and then we'll be back once they're added. Okay, so we're going to have some issues with this, unfortunately, and that is because we can't actually put anything on the front because it's not showing it as an actual bit of the tank, which is really, really frustrating, and I don't know where it went wrong. So I should have been saving it, but unfortunately I wasn't. So there you go. Uh, this is just what we have now. Uh, which does probably mean that I probably can't add much to it in terms of the way that it looks. So we might just have to shove the cannon on it and just, I don't know, see if it'll work. Unfortunately, even putting the cannon on it seems to be quite a difficult thing to do. So let's go ahead and load up the one... Oh, that's the 10 meter cannon. <laughs> right, the 1 meter cannon and shove it straight into there just like this. And yeah, that's just going to be how it works, I suppose. Look how weird that looks. That's so strange. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a round for this and try and fit it into the actual vehicle. So we're going to do... I don't know whether I'll be able to fit two, actually, but I kind of want to try. Uh, we're going to try. So... Oh, where did they go? Where did they go? Alright, there we go. It says they're on the outside, so if we move them in close to each other and then we move them up so they're actually inside the vehicle, that's fine. There we go. We got two shots if we need them. Let's go ahead and try and turn sideways and shoot that guy. We're going to have to increase engine performance for this. All right. It's going to be late war. There we go. Good. Increase it to 16. Increase that to maximum. And we're also going to have to go to transmission. Set this to like 20. There we go. And 20. There we go as well. Let's see if we can turn now. Oh, yeah. All right. Turn into this guy. And in three, two, one. Fire! Nice. All right, we also need to make these guys APHE, because that's the only other round we've got. There we go. All right, so now that we've done that, so let's go ahead and flip this guy over so he's actually correct. That's fine. And I'm going to try and add at least some, um, some new stuff to the back end, because the back does actually seem to be working fine. Uh, and we can go from there. You know what, actually, who cares? We've got the main base of the tank, and that's all that really matters. So, let's go ahead and start fighting something, I suppose. Uh, I'm also going to actually add this guy onto the top, just like this. And there we go. So, this is our tank design. Is it weird? Yes. Is it unfortunate that it doesn't actually work? <laughs> yes. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. We've got the base of the tank, and we can actually use it to fire at our friends, which is nice. So, let's go ahead and, I guess, put it up against a King Tiger. Alright, I figured a King Tiger isn't actually the best place to start. So, we're starting with this guy right here, who is a Crusader-ish type vehicle. And, oh, I think I missed, actually. <laughs> if he comes sailing out of there, oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay, we need to try again. Alright, Crusader type vehicle. This is actually weirdly hard to aim, because I have to aim up a little bit. Uh, and I did actually fire it there. I don't know whether it hit the tank, though. Oh, uh, I don't know. He's in a ditch. So, essentially, the main reason it's kind of hard to aim is because the gunner's sight is actually up there. And, obviously, the cannon is down here. So, I'm actually just going to go ahead and shove this onto there. Which is probably kind of a weird place to put it, but sure. And now we're going to try and fight the, uh, the Crusader. It should be easier to aim now. Three, two, one... 
Yep. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right. That totally worked. All right, next we have an 18.5 ton tank with crew, so it's actually kind of fast to drive. Uh, fortunately, we actually shot and hit it quite quickly, and it has flown away. That's madness. All right, the next tank we are actually putting it up against is the Tog 2. Fire! Oh, there we go. Even the Tog 2 bounced and took out two trees on its way out. That is sick. All right, King Tiger time. It might actually kill me. Fortunately, it didn't. Three, two, one. Fire! Fire! There we go, King Tiger dead too. So yes, it does a lot of damage. It's really unfortunate that this is sort of like a failed project, because uh, I can't actually do anything with all of those sides, which is really annoying. But um, it would have been kind of cool. It would have. I would have actually modified the turret as well. Oh, sorry, the gun. To be less long, I think. And had it be a little bit more like a Strim Tiger. But um, yeah, I don't mind the way they ended up looking. So what we're going to do now, before we actually finish, is give it a livery. And because it's unfinished, we're going to go with this livery, uh, like unfinished paint. There you go. Good. Uh, brightness, down a little bit. Saturation, up a little bit. There we go. And, yeah, it'll be like one of those prototype designs that they just find in a shed. There you go. <laughs> prototype t design that they find in a shed, built by the Germans. Again. There we go. All right, cool. Well, anyway, um, I do want to shoot something else one more time, so let's go with the 18.5 ton with no crew and see what kind of shot we can do there. Hold on. 18.5, no crew. Here we go. Aim. And... Fire! <laughs> oh, my goodness. It went like a rocket. That's insane. Nice. Well, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this. In the next one, we'll probably end up building something a little bit more normal. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.